Now, one piece of functionality that I really like in Webform is the ability to create predefined options. Now, let me explain. If you go to Structure, Webforms, Configuration, and then click on Options, here you can see a list of predefined options that you get when you install Webform. Now, a lot of these options are common things such as days, months, time zones, industries, countries, states, and then here you have language. And best of all, you can define these options and then reuse them in radio buttons, check boxes, select options, anything that allows options. And if you want to modify these existing ones, you can easily just edit these options right here, save it, and you're done. Let's now create our own predefined options. So click on Add Options, and we'll call it Software. And let's add in the following options. Drupal, WordPress, and Joomla. And you can see our predefined options right down at the bottom. Let's now go back to our form. And we'll create a select element called CMS software, which will allow users to select one of those options. So click on add element and search for select and then click on add element. We'll call it CMS software. And instead of defining the options here, simply select software from the dropdown and then check required and then click on save. Reorder the field so it's above details and then hit save elements. Let's now test our form and go to the next page and we should see CMS software with our options. Now the added benefit of using predefined options is that if you were to have multiple forms using the same options, then adding in options is very easy. You won't have to manually go through each individual form adding in the new option. You just add the option in the options page and that's it. And the change will then propagate across all forms. So let's do that now. Let's go back to structure, web forms, configuration, options, and let's add in a new option. And let's add in Ghost, which is a Node.js based blogging platform. If we scroll back down to software, you can see which form is using the options which is a nice little touch, especially if you want to clean things up or you want to have visibility and know which forms are using it. So let's go back to our form. And then if we go to the next page, we should see ghost as the option. Now this piece of functionality I really like because it will save you a lot of time. You won't have to go through multiple forms to add or remove options. All you need to do is make the change in one area and that's it.